A man who survived coronavirus is thanking the healthcare heroes who saved his life. He dropped off donations to them at St. Luke's Hospital, and you may have even seen him in a video going around. Here's Michael Tater. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. Dave Herring couldn't even speak a word, let alone sing, just two months ago. He was on a ventilator for three days and hospitalized for more than two weeks because of COVID-19. He says at 75, he feared for his life. I'd heard so many stories about being vented and, uh, and the percentage of people that, that don't make it that I was, yeah, I was very concerned. Herring says he's had pneumonia a few times during his life, but this was much worse. He still feels some PTSD from being intubated, but says he can't say enough about all of the healthcare workers. The nurses and the doctors were not only looking out for your physical condition, but, but your mental, how you were doing with your mental, handling this mentally. He'll never forget the faces of those who helped him, so he decided to help give back. He joined a donation drop-off with Be The Solution Lucas County. And while helping, he stopped to sing a song. Hear the words, it really fits. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. St. Luke's Foundation has received countless donations this past year of food and supplies for workers. They really appreciate it. I mean, they have been working tirelessly during this pandemic, like it might have stopped for other people, but it has not stopped for them. It's so important to show that these are the real heroes. They are, the, they are heroes and they do it every day at, at, at quite, a, quite a personal expense. You raise me up to more than I can be. In Maumee, Michael Tater, WTOL 11. To more than I.